Now it's time to dive into the central path of the Shadow Tree, where we can find an odd mix of tools. With two combat passives in the form of Claw Mastery and Weapon Block, and two summons with the form of Shadow Warrior and Shadow Master. And with the exception of Claw Mastery, each of these follows the assassin pattern of having some pretty fun quirks about them that most people do not expect. Though to get that simple one out of the way, Claw Mastery is just like any other Weapon Mastery, it's just limited to Claws. It provides a boost to damage and attack rating and gives a chance of Mastery based Critical Strike, which is separate from equipment based sources. As far as one of the more common questions about the Mastery though, yes, its damage boost applies to Blade Fury, though its attack rating boost does not. Now onto the more interesting stuff, let's take care of the passive weapon block first. This only works when stationary or when using abilities like Whirlwind or Teleport that count as stationary mechanically, and it only works while your human assassin form is active and wielding dual claws. So no, it will not work if you are using beasts to turn into a bear. As far as why it's weird, it actually blocks a lot more things than normal blocking, so even though it will never get the same percent as a shield due to only getting percent block from the skill itself, it will block a lot more attacks total. Pretty much the only things it won't try to block at least part of are radial, retaliatory, or spawn on target damage effects like Psychic Hammer. It also is a bit finicky whenever it comes to charge attacks and smite, but most of those are going to be fringe cases you won't really run into unless you're really into PvP. The more complicated aspects of the central branch though are the summons, which oddly both have their own special uses, with Shadow Master being the far more generic one despite being higher level. This is because she's tankier in general due to far better equipment spawns that are much like the Valkyries when the higher level she is, the better equipment she can spawn with, and her ability to use all the assassin skills is a pretty nice perk too, regardless of whether you invested in them or not. Yes, even the ones you don't actively put on your bar. This compared to the Shadow Warrior that is restricted to your active skills on your left and right click, and gets generally worse equipment due to limitations on what she can spawn with. That said, there are common myths about her, one of the biggest ones being her resists, since despite not being listed, she actually does get resists, though they cap out much lower than the Masters at 75% instead of 90. Beyond this, both the Shadows have similar rules in that they both have scaling strength and dexterity, their item levels scale with their skill level, and that they both, most importantly, have skill memory and benefit from skill synergies. So until resummoned, she will remember the skills she has used, at the level she used them at, resulting in those skills synergizing with any other skill she uses. This can be used to generate super traps stronger than you can get yourself, though the more common use is to let her use specific traps at a stronger level than your current base build has. The shadow's skill levels will be half of your current skill level rounded down, plus one third of your shadow's skill level when summoned, again rounded down, with a minimum of one and no maximum, and every skill level she has is counted as a hard point for her synergies. So if you have, for example, a level 30 Shadow Warrior and level 30 Fire Blast, she would cast Fire Blast at level 25. Now, saying you repeat that with level 30 Wake of Inferno and level 30 Wake of Fire, your Shadow Warrior would now have 25 hard points in Fire Blast and two synergies, meaning she may be casting Fire Blast at a slightly lower level than you, but she would have a whopping 10 more synergy points boosting it. That said, the more common use of this though is creating dummy traps with minimal skill investment. That said, it's important to remember her skill level in a skill always is determined by her last cast of it, so if you do pre-buff synergy traps, be sure not to swap back to old traps, you will still want your main trap to be high level while playing as well. So do you have a favorite shadow and did you know that warriors got resist too, despite the game lying to you? Mention it down below, and as always, keep gaming, have fun, and peace out. This has been Alzrath. bye.